I am curious how ESPN is going to cover the news of Dana White and video of him slapping his wife at uh, New Year's festivities, apologizing, saying there's no excuse, uh, saying that he had been drinking. Uh, If it had been Roger Goodell or an owner of an NFL team, I imagine it would be covered with a great deal of zeal, even though ESPN is a corporate partner with the NFL. In this case, Dana White is, I can say this, right? He's the face of the sport. But he's the most famous person in the sport, too, is he not? Uh, The most famous person in the sport, even with all the fighters, because he's a face and voice for a sport. If he's not, he's close to it. And we've talked before, it's not even the crime. It's the size of the fame of the criminal. How does ESPN, He's pretty famous, Dan. I mean, how does ESPN cover that one? As because usually with these things, if there is video and there is mainstream media pressure, and ESPN is the one most capable of applying mainstream media pressure, but they have a partnership, an uncomfortable partnership with Dana White that ran off the one journalist that they had in that sport, Ariel Hawani, and we ran into it because Dana White has a great deal of power at ESPN. How is that story going to be covered? How is that story supposed to be covered? It's supposed to be covered the way ESPN would cover any story like this, Um, but people need, I'm not certain they're going to do that. I'd like to think they're going to do that, but there is a partnership um, and a lucrative one, as you have mentioned, and he is the face of that sport. And so I'd like to think ESPN would attack this story the same way. Now, listen, right now, they're in full NFL coverage right now, and they are talking about the future of the game, and, you know, and we're we're all kind of jarred from what we saw uh, last night out in Cincinnati. But when they get to that story, I'd like to think they'd cover it the way they would cover any other story of this nature. The problem that exists is there is a major partnership, and I know well enough to know that they likely will not cover it the way they probably should because of that partnership. Are we getting a little too meta here? Should we be should we be covering talking about the actual incident rather than talking about how someone else is going to cover it? Uh, yes. I mean, I get the the interesting. Well, no, no, but that's an I, I interesting the, twist that they have a court. Sure, they have a, absolutely. They have no, a partnership. The, the, com- the, the conflict you're, of interest you're, you're and all right. that. Yeah. You're right. I mean, but I the and I did skip a step there. You are right. The, the reason that I skipped a step, flimsy though the excuse may be, is this doesn't stay in the news stream unless there's media pressure. There needs to be a media pressure. There needs to be a media outrage about this in order for this to have... The Does con- it have to come from them, though? In, in order for this to have consequences, where they're the worldwide leader You're, I in know. sports, yes. and uh, they do tend to help with how this stuff happens, and they're compromised here... By a, by a business interest, and that I did skip a step, I mean, but that's the reason I skipped a step, well, because I don't believe there will be consequences for this, because there can't be consequences for it unless the level of outrage stays in a place. He's so powerful, right. so independent, and can even control, to a degree, the media monster with which he has a partnership that I don't know what the consequences will be to video of... You slapping your wife at a party and slapping her back because of the fight that you've gotten into. No matter the quotes from your wife saying how out of character it was, usually that video to a person of power is hugely damaging everywhere in sports, everywhere in sports. But this guy works in a plane with his own outfit and a power that doesn't come with a great deal of governance. Like who is there to punish him? And if it happened with Goodell or an owner, he's not a commissioner, but if it happened with Goodell or an owner, do you imagine that it would be quiet? Because I don't. I don't imagine if we had video of that, it would be quiet. I I, kind of feel like it might be quiet. It might be quiet, man. From ESPN or from... It would not be quiet elsewhere. uh, Man, I'm telling you, man, like, a lot... There is a clear, clear double standard... For, as far as wrongdoing goes, between people upstairs and people downstairs, that that's been very prevalent uh, throughout all the sports for quite a while, and things that happen upstairs tend to just go away 
and things that happen to the folks downstairs. But I mean, GMs of teams and presidents that's, of teams, it's it's different. I'm not saying it should be, but that's it's not different. upstairs enough. <laughs> no, no, but Dan's talking about the commissioner of the NFL. That's what I'm saying. Like that's those, upstairs those enough. Pe- those people are insulated. Those people are insulated. It'd to, be covered to though. I, I maybe not, it's not, not covered not, the way. Dude, not, not usually from video. Not usually right. from video. It's easier without video. Sure, sure. I, I like my thing is the. I think, first of all, I think a lot of people have a callous attitude towards physical violence, uh, especially it was like, oh, it was retaliatory. That's that's the, you know, response you're going to get from a lot of people. Um, but then add on to it that he's not, quote unquote, one of the people on the field or in the in the cage or whatever. That reduces, again, the level of give a damn that people have and then you add on to it the influence that he has over the biggest uh media outfit covering sports and that puts more cold water on it but even without all of that i think there's still a level of man like we just don't care enough as a society about these things to make it so unless we're trying to make an example of certain people i think we i think the society has changed, particularly since Ray Rice, since Me Too. There are a, a lot of people that care. Um, and I don't but, know how you say society doesn't care about scandal. God almighty, does society care about scandal? It, Never mind. If it, well, it, 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 You should obviously care about hitting a woman and violence against women, and you shouldn't put in the diluters of she hit him first yeah. to, to, to mitigate. Yeah, but that, that happens, though. That's what I'm saying. Like you're right, mm-hmm. and I, also that's I, I guarantee you take a take a stroll through social media and see how many people are saying that. I think we're not for TMZ reporting this. Yeah, I would agree with you. This is swept under the rug, even if people knew about it within the UFC. But because it's out there now, I would also say for as much as Dana White does sort of rule over ESPN and and partners with uh, a fair amount of you know immunity. The UFC is no longer just its own company anymore. They're owned by William Morris Endeavor. And so while William, like that is a moneymaker for William Morris Endeavor and it's a big part of their business, it is still a bigger corporate responsibility to somebody that will, in theory, hold them accountable. However, William Morris Endeavor is not usually held to account like the NFL is and like these major decision makers are often held to account. So to, to a means point, it's on us as a show with a right. sizable platform and on anyone – else who has sizable platforms to talk about this with real severity and talk about it in the same terms that Ray Rice was talked about. This yeah. is disgusting, and you can't hit women. Wait, Ray Rice said, or, um, I'm sorry, uh, Dana White said himself when a UFC fighter four years ago said, hitting women is a no-go. Like, if there's you do no that, excuse. There's he no said. excuse. Like, there, there's no room for it in our sport. In his statement to TMZ, he did do a callback on his own right. comments on that. Well, people are interested in how ESPN, and that's why I think Dan brought it up, because that's an interesting twist and an angle – how they cover their corporate partners, and will they cover them the same way? I mean, when, as when the, when the not, Rice video no, came out, it was, about, it was wall to wall. I know, it was but, wall to wall. But people care about that, about yeah. ESPN's coverage of stuff, right. because they can well, really have an impact. I don't, think, Dana, Dana I don't think people care. Looking at the television right now and seeing wall to wall coverage on Demar Hamlin, so yeah. I don't think the coverage. Be interesting to see how it might be covered. We could have that conversation if this huge story wasn't out there right now. You think the standard sports fan cares how ESPN covers? Yes. It? No. Yeah. No, I do. It's the guys they care about their fantasy team, man. No, I they don't ma- care. Ma- no, I mean, care. people loved like they love that stuff. They hey, gotcha. Hey, you treated people this person in this league like media. this, were, but you didn't go after Dana White. Yes, they were caring they about how Skip Bayless was tweeting about it. Yeah. Right. 